Hello, welcome to the TechBit YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about Postgres database templates. That's it. Let's get started. After you have successfully installed Postgres, automatically you will find two templates readily available for you. The purpose of these templates is to serve as a starting point when you're creating your database. Once the database is created, it will be pre-populated with a predefined set of objects and settings. The main difference between these two are as follows. Notice, we're talking about templates. We continue. The main difference between template 0 and template 1 is that template 0 is intended for a clean template start. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind. Both templates have their own distinctions, just like template 1, now what we're going to be talking, is recommended usually to be customized in case you would like to do so. The other even better recommendation is to make a copy of it and create a customization of your own. Now, a few key distinctions between both of these. Immutability. Template zero is a read-only database. And that's what we're talking right now for template zero. It is never updated or modified by the database system. Even whenever it's migrated or upgraded, it never is touched. It, the whole idea is to keep it in a pristine state. That way it can be serving as a reliable template for creating new databases. Template one allows users to make modifications, additions or deletions to the template. It means you can adjust it, modify it, customize it to your own needs. So be it from objects, configurations, or extensions. Bottom line, these two databases templates serve the purpose of allowing you to either have a clean start or a customized start. Now, we've touched already what the theory behind it. Let's go ahead and go straight into our PSQL. I'm already logged in as Postgres. And let's take a look what templates are available. Notice that we have template more zero and template one available as mentioned before. So how do we proceed and create a template for ourselves? Well, let's go ahead and create a database called mydb template zero. And it's going to derive from, of course, template zero. That was successful. Now let's create another one, but this time it's going to be based on template one. We shall see two databases now, both my templates, DB templates here. Now that's available for us. What if we can try connecting to template zero? Notice because it's read only, it has automatically the non-accepting connections parameter available, meaning it's not accepting any connections at all. Why? Because they want it to be just read only. But if that's the case, we should be able to connect to template one. Let's confirm that. That is correct. It is empty and it is readily available for us. That covers today's video. We will be looking at other videos down the road, particularly in how to leverage templates. So stay tuned and see you then. Thanks.